When it comes to drawing any type of Lewiston structure, we need to realize that there's two geometries that are involved. We have our molecular geometry, which is usually coined as our real shape of the molecule, and we have our electronic geometry, which is sometimes called the orbital shape. Now, when it comes to the molecular geometry, we're gonna say here that lone pairs, which are non-bonding electrons, that are on the central element, are counted as different from the surrounding elements. We're gonna say our key here is, A represents my central element, X represents my surrounding elements, and E represents the lone pairs on that central element. So for example, if we were drawing ASF3, arsenic is in group 5A, so it has five valence electrons. Fluorine, remember from the rules that we've talked about in the past, fluorine is in group 7A, it's a halogen. Halogens only make single bonds when they are not in the center. And fluorine never goes in the center, so it's always gonna make a single bond. It's in group 7A, so it has seven valence electrons. Okay, so there go the fluorines drawn around arsenic. So if we're using molecular geometry here, we'd say that arsenic represents my central element, which is A. It has three surrounding elements around it, so that's X3. And it has one lone pair on it, so that's E1. Now, looking at our table to the left, we would just look and see that we have one, two, three, four groups around the central element, which would put us in this category here. And then we just look and see what's the shape when we have one central element, three surrounding elements, and one lone pair on the central element. that fall right here. So the shape would be trigonal pyramidal. Now, what's the difference between molecular geometry and electronic geometry? Well, for electronic geometry, we're gonna say that the lone pairs on the central element and the surrounding elements are treated as the same. So the key here would be A represents our central element again, and then X is the surrounding element or elements and the lone pairs on that central element. So for the electronic geometry, it's still C A, and what it would do, it, it would group my X and E's together and make that AX4. So again, that's still four groups, so we still fall here. And AX4 would mean that the electronic geometry would be tetrahedral. So the electronic geometry would see ASF3 as tetrahedral, but it would see the molecular geometry as trigonal, pyramidal. Now again, the molecular geometry is the true shape of the molecule because it takes into account that lone pairs cause the distortion of the bonds. So this lone pair here pushes the bonds further away from it. So it would take more of a shape like this where it actually looks like a pyramid. Now, here are all the different types of shapes that you should commit to memory. So if we go over them quickly, here we have two groups around the central element. Right, so here, the two groups around the central elements, they're elements, they're surrounding elements, so that's AX2, which is linear. If you have three groups, there's two possibilities. Where we're, one where all the surrounding elements make up the three groups, so that's AX3, or one where we have one lone pair and two surrounding elements, which would be bent, angular, or V-shaped. Four groups fall into th three categories. Five groups, fall into four categories, and then six groups fall into three categories. So it's important to remember how many groups are around the central element. So how many surrounding elements and lone pairs are on that central element determines which group you fall into. Then look to see, are they asking about the molecular geometry, where I would treat lone pairs and surrounding elements differently? Or are they talking about the electronic geometry where I, I would treat them both as the same, treat them both as X? Knowing the key and remembering the differences between the two geometries is key to answering questions dealing with the shape of any Lewis dot structure that you happen to draw.